Good morning, Technician 4 here. Um, mentioned in the last video that I uh, uploaded in my collection update video that I bought a Spyderco Para 3 with the intention of modifying it. Um, wanted to customize it a little bit. Well, what I've got sitting out in front of me is the results of that, uh, that effort. Uh, before I go any further, get the wristwatch check out of the way. Sorry. Hamilton uh, Khaki Navy Scuba 300 meter dive watch. Uh, I have this on an elastic band that I got off of Amazon. Um, NATO, not a NATO band, uh, a Marine National style elastic watch band. I really like this watch. It's becoming one of my favorites. Um, anyway, back to the Spyderco. Um, this has applied weapons technology scales, aluminum, anodized, and the weathered red color. Uh, that's what I uh, I decided to go with on this one. Initially, this came. This is a S45 VN new pair three that came on the Digi Camo G10 scales. Um, so I put these scales on there, and of course, I needed to upgrade that uh, upgrade that clip. The standard Spider Co clips uh, a little long for the pair three, in my opinion. Um, on a paramilitary two, I think it, it's fine, um, but on the smaller size pair three, I, I wanted something a little shorter. This one does the job. Uh, also, with it being deep carry, it kind of, you know, gets rid of the issue with the top of the blade sticking up out of your pocket. Uh, this is not like the true deep carry one. This one still has the lanyard hole there, and uh, a little bit sticking out. But I'm not trying to hide the fact that that I have a knife in my pocket. Um, I just want something. You know comfort that's what i'm going after uh so after shit after doing all that um i needed to do something about the backspacer i actually uh i originally had to resurface the um the lanyard hole spacer after removing the g10 scales i kind of uh, marked it up marred it up a little bit so i resurfaced that um, just ran it across the sharpening stone for a little bit Gave it a nice satin finish, um, but then uh, put it on a titanium backspacer that had the, uh, not this this backspacer here, this is uh, the one I ended up keeping on here. Uh, but the first one that I put on was one of the ridged ones, and uh, it ruined the hand fill from these really nice scales by having the, the jimping along the back, and it was kind of sharp, and it just took the, the softness and the sleekness away um, so I decided to go with these flush uh, titanium backspacer, which ended up replacing, this is integrated into the backspacer. This is the one from Rockstead, Rocks, I believe, um, Rockscale, Rockscale Designs. Uh, so a Lynch clip, Rockscale Devi Designs titanium um, flat backspacer, and the Applied Weapons Technology Scales. Um, pretty much perfect now, in my opinion. I might just, for shits and giggles, uh, replace the hardware with titanium, but I really don't see any need to. Uh, it's not really going to make a huge difference in the weight. Uh, speaking of the weight, it's it's pretty light. Um, it doesn't feel any heavier. I'm not going to get a scale out and throw it on there, but it doesn't feel like a heavy knife. It feels like a great little edc size knife. Uh, having said that, still probably not going to become primary EDC. Uh, like I mentioned before, the compression locks, just not really my favorite lock style. Um, this one, there's no blade play, by the way. Everything's nice and solid, and, and it has great, great action on it. Um, but it's just not my favorite style, and honestly, the Spyderco knives uh, with the spidey hole on there, uh, they just kind of take up too much space the profile is just too wide it takes up too much space in my pocket so this is going to be a, a sometimes carry not an not an always carry uh, i am kind of looking forward to see what time does to the finish uh, this is the i believe the type 2 anodizing that awt does which is not going to hold up to to wear and tear very well but you know with the color scheme that I went with I think it'll be just fine when the uh, silver starts to show through uh, with everything else being bare it's going to look pretty sharp uh, even with some abuse on it um, so uh, we'll see in the future uh, don't plan on doing a, like a follow-up review and this is definitely not a review of a 
of a Para 3. There are plenty of those out there already. Um, if you don't know what the Para 3 is or already have an opinion on the Para 3, you probably stumbled onto my video on accident. Um, but this is my customized Para 3. If anyone has any questions at all, just leave me a message down in the comments. I'd be happy to answer. Um, I don't really have much else to say about this, except that pretty sharp. I like it. Huh, pretty sharp. Anyway, short video today. Technician out.